Welcome to Good Morning Madison. My name is Sean Walsh. I'm your Emerging Services and Technologies Librarian. Today is Monday, August 7th, 2023. So let's start off with where Gus the Book Bus is. And unfortunately, Gus is not on the road. Gus is currently being serviced. He's having generator errors. Um, and so that's being worked on. Additionally, um, our bookmobile driver has decided to take another position. So we have an open position for a bookmobile, bookmobile driver. This does not require a CDL. It does require some technical knowledge because you are using the circulation system to check books out and troubleshooting some minor networking things occasionally. Um, the uh, bookmobile service is primarily children, but not just children. Um, during the year, it also services adults, so it's kind of a mixed lot of folks you would be working with. So if you're interested, please contact D. Colbert Center Director at the library and apply. We'd love to have you. On Tuesday, August 8th, Miss Bailey will meet her friends at Rainbow Farms for Down on the Farm story time at 10.30 for the last story time of the season. We'll restart these story times at the end of May in 2024. Amazingly enough, we're, right, we're talking about May. Um, on Friday, August 4th, Miss Bailey will be at Hidden Valley to share her stories in STEM at 10.30 as well. And this is her last story time there for stories in STEM. And we'll restart that as well in May of 2024. Moving from Gus's schedule to a new book I would like to spotlight. Um, I am absolutely, without question, a tabletop gamer, and I've been playing Dungeons & Dragons uh, probably for more than 30 years at this point. And um, I picked this up for the collection recently, and it's kind of cool. It's, you know, it's a self-help book, but it's how to apply all of the things that you learn in role-playing and tabletop games, not just Dungeons & Dragons, to your life. And I thought it was kind of cool. Face your dragons, be more adventurous, and live your best geeky life. And this is a really awesome book. It's got a lot of tongue-in-cheek uh, humor into it, but there's a lot of great lessons to learn and apply all of these skills for your tabletop role-playing to your real life. Moving from my book Spotlight on to what's going on, we have Stan the Tech Fan. And this is a reminder, Stan was received through a grant through the American Rescue Plan Act through the library uh, LSTA funds, Museum and Library Services LST funds through the State Library of Ohio. And the craft programs this year are also funded by a grant from the State Library of Ohio. And so on Tuesday, August 8th, and, and Thursday, August 10th, both from 4.30 to 7, Stan will be in the village, one at the car show and one at the village market. And the craft this week is a design your own pennant flag. We'll be uh, heat pressing uh, your own designs onto a pennant flag. So moving from Stan's event, so what's going on in the building? On Wednesday, August 9th, our new adult craft program, Crafts and Laughs, uh, will be meeting here at 1.30. Please sign up online so we have enough supplies for you. We'd appreciate that. Also on the 9th, author Rachel Webster will be here at 6.30 p.m. to talk about her new book, Benjamin Banneker and Us. There is no sign up for this one. Um, it's first come, first serve in the room. Um, there are also, by the way, still spots in Miss Kylie's story times. They began last week, but if you're interested, we still have room, so please bring your child or grandchild. There's also online options, so please check our calendar. And uh, the week of August 28th, it will be time to bring in donations for the next Friends book sale. Please don't bring them in before because we don't have space, but the week of August 28th, you can bring them in during normal library hours. And the next uh, time we'll collect will be December. Sounds kind of scary, all the way into the holidays, the 21st. So thank you for watching Good Morning Madison. Look for us again to see what's happening next week. See you on the interwebs.